sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girl. But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, Chemical X. Somebody call for some heroes! Thank you, Miss Us! Hello, welcome or welcome back to McFly, my little corner on the internet where I just sit around here and talk about video games and stuff. Sorry, I'm feeling goofy in the AM, and we just got hit with a new trailer for Powerpuff Girls for Season 3 of Multiverses. Let's take a look. Ooh. Ah, the city of Who pours pickles? A perfect site of tranquility. Well, actually... There is only I one group of that adorable better. heroes who could return this universe to order! Nice to see it all destroyed, though. That's Wait a minute, cool. is that...? Somebody call for some heroes! Here they come! Assassin, okay. Having an assassin party. Interesting, okay. Dude, no matter what, the voice work is always 110%. Scuba outfits? Boo! Yes! Alright, we got the Rowdy Rough Boys. Hopefully all voiced. Yes! Very cool. And then just Nubia off there to the left. Can we keep them? Can we? Can we? Can we? Once again, the day is saved thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. That was fantastic. All right, talk about something fun to wake me up in the morning. That was great. That's probably the most hype trailer I've seen for any season so far. I know a lot of people were excited for Jack, and then they even had a little hype train going for Beetlejuice there. But Agent Smith wasn't really meh. And then speaking of the Powerpuff Girls, people have been waiting for this character for so long. There is such a deep-rooted love for Cartoon Network characters, and I hope we see a lot more. But they're going to be an assassin. I think that's interesting. I mean, we are lacking assassins, so it's good to fill in the pool. And from the looks of it, they're going to be small, fast, but hit really hard. So that's very assassin-like. And now, especially after watching this, I'm even more intrigued to watch a full gameplay breakdown for their kit. I see a mishmash of things here. I see a little bit of Ice Climbers, because it looks like they can independently do things. But at the same time, I also see them switching positions, kind of like a Pokemon master. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a hybrid. That's that's even better. That If there's one thing I can praise, the creative team behind making these characters in the kits, they definitely know what they're doing. Very creative. I can't wait to see the full breakdown and the buffs and the debuffs and all that. And then I imagine them pushing this because this is going to be the Battle Pass character. I still don't know if that's confirmation or not. And then Nubia, twice throughout that whole trailer, just... It's like they don't know what to do with her, I guess. They're just adding. Maybe she'll just get thrown into the game when Season 3 starts for fighter currency. I don't know. Or she is the fighter we're going to have to play the rifts for, and they're just like, here you go. Here's Nubia. Because that's how I get. The way I've seen her in both trailers now, it's like they don't know what to do with her. I'm trying to skim my brain for what I just watched. I mean, we saw some of the kit, but again, I don't really know what many of the moves do. That's why I like to watch those breakdown gameplay videos that they release. Oh yeah, the skins. I guess the scuba suit is interesting. I mean, it's an idea. But then the best one there, and I'm so glad they did it, the Rowdy Rough Boys with full voice lines. That was interesting. But I got to hand it to them. Rowdy Rough Boys is definitely the top tier skin for the Powerpuff Girls, but I didn't think they would release it right away. And it's probably the end of the Battle Pass, I imagine. So that'll be cool. Really paying it forward to the Powerpuff Girls there. But that's all I really got to say about Powerpuff Girls. And then there was a side trailer that was put out a couple days ago, which kind of teased this a little bit because it showed outlines of Nubia and Powerpuff Girls. But what I want to focus on is that there might be a possible third character for Season 3. Like I said, they put out this teaser the other day, but right there at the end, and actually it has a funny little bit about the Mogwai. It's 12 a.m. Do you know where your Mogwai is? <laughs> There's a little snippet right before it switches over, and it looks like Raven's summoning seal from the Teen Titans map. And I'm pretty sure Raven is in the game files, so it's very curious that they would throw this at the very end. Halloween is coming up, so I imagine maybe they want to start some form of hype train. And that's maybe why they don't know what to do with Nubia, because maybe they're going to start a hype train for Raven. I know I was really waiting for Powerpuff Girls, but if Raven makes it into this game, I think my hype is just going to totally switch over there, because I'm a huge fan. But that is just wishful thinking at this point. We have nothing but hopes, and that's why I can't fully get behind it yet, just because... 
this game has teased many things and then waited months to drop it so they could just be pulling our leg here i don't know but yeah that's all i got for this one time to get excited for powerpuff girls because they are official but what do you think were you waiting for powerpuff girls just as long as i was or i should say half the community because we have been waiting granted how many breadcrumbs they led up to this it's definitely been a trail maybe you're not so excited for powerpuff girls maybe you like nubia better I'm curious to see what her kit's going to be like. Hopefully it's a bruiser. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. A like is always appreciated. All that good YouTube stuff. And I will catch you out there in the multiverse. Oh.